I fell into the game with instant kill chapter, a blood magic, how many minutes did we wait? I could feel many people coming closer from far away, there were so many more than I expected, so I was a little perplexed, why are so many coming here? Eventually, the vampires appeared and climbed up on the trees everywhere as if besieging us where we stood, the number of vampires was easily over, in addition, their level was all over, as if they were coming to fight some kind of battle, Asher's expression hardened, and the two sisters looked around with a frightened face, it really is a human, one vampire said as if muttering, I made eye contact with him. It was immediately recognizable that he was the leader of their group, it was because of the level above his head, oof, after checking the level, I could immediately recognize his identity of the vampire tribes of Elrod Forest, there was only one strong person who reached this level, Chief Warrior Kolderben, the chief's younger brother and the strongest warrior of Elrod Forest, as I recalled, five years later, his level was, which was higher than it was now, I didn't expect him to suddenly come out of here, human, answer the question properly, he was exchanging glances with me, and then he opened his mouth. How did you know our tribe existed in this forest? I had given a moderate answer earlier, but it seemed like they were trying to get a more definite answer, probably because this was a very important issue to them. For a long time, they had been quietly living in this forest, avoiding the eyes of the public, but out of nowhere, a human who knew their existence suddenly appeared, after thinking for a while. I answered, isn't it more strange that I don't know, what, even though this forest is not visited by others, this is the realm of Kolderek, the eyes of the lords are everywhere and there are many intelligence organizations, you have lived in this forest for nearly years, if you truly thought that no one would know of your existence. That's simply arrogance, indeed, the overlord and some lords were aware of their existence, they didn't think of them as a threat, so they just leave them alone and they had actually settled in the Elwood forest for over years, I purposely said it wrong, it was to make them think I didn't understand everything, because if I knew too much, their boundaries would become stronger, I could feel Rubica looking at me with a puzzled look, because when I explained to her, I told her I had a relationship with the vampire tribe from this forest, she might wonder why I didn't say that to these vampires, but it was a lie, so I couldn't say it, in the first place, the vampires of Elrod Forest lived and died in this forest for the rest of their lives, so how? how could anyone have met them, anyway, the chief warrior, who was staring at me without responding, seemed to be convinced to some extent, he changed the subject, you said you rescued the two vampires who were captured as slaves and you came here to bring them to our tribe, are they those children, yes, Rubica, who was watching, stepped forward and said, we are vampires who lived in the mountains north of Kolderik, and they rescued us with genuine good intentions and brought us here. The atmosphere was harsh, so she seemed to want to defend me. He glanced at her, then nodded, if you have lost a place to return to. Our tribe will welcome you with open arms, but not the humans, we can never bring them into the village, so send the children there first. At that, they looked at me with anxious eyes. I nodded my head, it's okay go, they hesitated and moved to the side of the vampires, the chief warrior nodded to one vampire, after receiving that nod, the vampire took the sisters in her arms and climbed the branches and moved into the forest, and then they disappeared in an instant, I turned my gaze to the chief warrior, now it was time to bring my purpose out, I have a story I want to tell you, I stopped talking, because the atmosphere suddenly became serious, the hostility felt from the vampires standing around us as if they were surrounding us grew stronger, and oh, the sudden attack from the front was blocked by Asher instead, a thorn made of blood shattered to pieces by her sword, her expression ferociously distorted, and she glared at the vampires, I looked at the chief warrior and asked, what are you doing? He answered in a calm tone, I'm sorry, but you can't leave the forest alive, is it because I was aware of your tribe's existence? Didn't I just say that I wasn't the only one who knew about you? No, that's not it. He shook his head. Thank you very much for saving our people, but we've never let an outsider who has entered this forest leave alive. That's how we have kept our home and peace for many years and there are no exceptions. 
The vampires around them immediately took a fighting stance, the blood that flowed from their bodies gathered in the air and formed a shape. Some were huge, some are sharp, so die here, human, I sighed inwardly, these dog-like vampire cubs. Did I think too easily? I saved their people, so I didn't expect they would still try to kill us like this, soon there was blood rushing all over the place where we were standing, I grabbed Ash's shoulder, preparing for battle, and pulled him closer, who stand close to me, and I immediately opened the floating veil, at the same time, attacks poured in from all sides, the non-stop blood flow saturated the place where the humans were standing, while the other warriors were pouring out their attacks, the chief warrior Kolderban also prepared an attack with all his might, oh yeah. The blood that flowed from his body condensed in the air and turned purple, it was a unique blood skill he possessed, if somebody was hit by this extremely poisonous blood, no matter how strong the opponent was, they had no choice but to melt away without a trace, violet blood formed as huge thorns rotated like a whirlpool and swept the place where the humans stood, or, the sight swept away by the bloodstream disappeared as it was, leaving ruins, without evading the bombardment of the elite warriors, the humans were directly hit, Kuldoban had no doubts that this was the end, however, his eyes widened in astonishment at the sight that was revealed after the blood and dust had disappeared. The humans were still standing in the same place, even without a single piece of clothing ruffled, the chief warrior and other warriors were in shock at the sight beyond the common sense and did not take any action, this makes little sense if the human man looked around leisurely, is this the end? He spoke in an arrogant and indifferent voice, as if muttering, this doesn't feel good.